Hey, how's everybody doing? It's Jim. And uh, like I said before, I was going to check back in with my modifications and attempt to hot rod the Orca Mark I um, and also add pedals. So I'm going to just check back in with you on how all that went and just kind of show you what I arrived at. So anyway, here's the Orca in its new state. <laughs> um, so you can tell I kind of uh, <laughs> I removed the rear brake. I put the eMove Touring uh, display here, which works just fine, um, with the eMove uh, brake lever over here. Uh, this, I also put the eMove Touring controller down in there, so it's a 25 amp output controller. Um, I wasn't able to get the brake cut off to communicate properly for some reason, so the brake cutoff is not working with this. Um, another thing I had to do because the Orca had a uh, light switch up here is I basically, I basically uh, took the insides of the switch out and put the switch down to here. Right now because of everything going on in the world I wasn't able to get somewhere to find a nicer switch replacement so but this works uh, just just fine right now um, pushing that in and uh, turning the lights on. The big thing that I had to do differently is the eMove Touring's controller is set up for a non-hall sensor motor. This motor on the Orca is a hall sensor motor, so I wasn't able to use a hall sensor. So you'll see, I'll, I'll take off here, there's uh, quite a bit of motor vibration and noise. Even though acceleration wise, it was nearly a second faster with that 25 amps output versus 15. And I was kind of surprised at that. So then I did braking because I only had the front brake on, a brake test. I actually got shorter braking distance and with dual brakes, I don't even know why that is. Uh, maybe I'm just more comfortable on this at that point, but all those numbers will be on the screen. All in all, I mean, I like, I kind of like the look uh, of the way this looks and I put on those uh, supplies grips I mentioned in one of my reviews on this bike. Um, scooter, I guess. Um, and I kind of like how clean, I like clean looks and I like how it's a little cl less cluttered with wires and everything. Now on the pedal side, I did have the pedals in here, but the problem was this bottom bracket is like 82 millimeters wide, um, which is like a downhill bottom bracket, and those bottom brackets were all quite expensive, and I just didn't want to throw down that kind of money. So what I did is I got the uh, 73 millimeter bottom bracket and with the longest spindle I could get. I just want to quickly show what you're going to need to do the conversion on the Orca uh, to put pedals on it. So you're going to need a bottom bracket, and this one, I'll put the dimension of this. This is, uh, the bottom bracket is actually 82 millimeters wide, which is more of a downhill bracket. Um, but I, so I got a 73 with a longer spindle. Um, it looks like it, that should work just fine. You need a freewheel of some sort. You can go multi-speed, single speed, or I did a three speed. This has the thickness for single speed. So I got a single speed crank set, some pedals and a chain tensioner over here, and the chain. And what I still ended up happening, it worked on the drive side, of course, because it. but on the non-drive side, the pedal was uh, making contact right here. So I wasn't able to go that route. Um, and I put the freewheel on here as well, and uh, there, you can actually see the line of where the it stopped threading. So I don't really think these are true uh, freewheel threads. Unfortunately, the pedal part of my experiment didn't work. Uh, I was really hoping to be able to add that. I really like being able to move a little bit when I'm riding, and uh, th this would appeal me to me a lot more if it had some pedals on it. Right away, the, the benefit to having this display is actually having... Uh, the other display just gave a speed and, and not much other information. At least you get, you get the distance, and of course this is skewed because this uh, was used on a, I pulled this off a used touring, um, so the odometer is not accurate. Um, and here I'm just, the nice, the, to me the biggest benefit is having cruise control. So I'm going to take off and you're going to hear what I'm saying about the noise and I think some of that noise is due to uh, the kickstand is actually vibrating a lot. I'm going to try to hold it with my foot as I take off to see if that does help. So you'll hear that that vibration there is pretty terrible, but once it's rolling, it's it's quiet. And actually, I, I you know I'll get up to the 
max speed here. I turn around up here. Um, I set this for 12 inches and it doesn't seem to be all that accurate, but you'll see on the GPS, we'll see what the actual speed is. But hopefully you'll get an indication that it, once it's moving, it, it seems to run and ride just fine. And nice, uh, the cruise control, having that's great. Of course, now there's no motor cutoff, you have to hit... Oh wait, did it just cut off? Did it actually work? Oh wait. No. But you can hear that acceleration. It, it's, it, I, some of it sounds like vibration not in the motor, some other vibration. I don't know exactly what it is, to be honest. But like I said, from a braking perspective, the braking isn't terribly compromised. And if you're willing to ride this without going max acceleration, I think it's just the high end of the amp output, it kind of makes that motor go a little squirrely. So if I do like a half throttle takeoff here, it's you'll hear it's... If I'm not putting the hammer down and I just kind of go gradual on it, it's not bad at all. But anyway, this comes back to some of those things I wish that there were out there were more like plug and play options for these kind of things. Um, you know, maybe being able to change in different displays, different throttles. Uh, Four Motors is doing some of that with the E-Move Cruiser, but not really on, on a scooter like this. It's not really in their production. Let's just brief look at some of the stuff I was trying to make work with this. Sometimes going a little bit outside of you know, what there are, you know, already made parts for is a little bit of a risk. And I saw a little bit of that lack of reward on that, that side on this thing. Um, and that there were, there also was, I couldn't get a wiring diagram for that, the Orca controller. So there was some uh, trial and error involved there. So anyway, thanks. See you next time. Catch the wave. Feel the